Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. Today I'm going to be doing a quick flip through and review of the Critical Thinking Company's word roots. I have here the beginning level and level one, so I'm just going to open it up and take a look inside and just let you know what we have thought about it so far. My fifth grade daughter has been working on the beginning level all year and she has started at the level one. So I thought it was a good time to give you a look inside and just let you know what we think so far. I reached out to the Critical Thinking Company to ask if they would send me these two books so that I could give you a full flip through without it being written in. And since I do not need these myself, I thought that I would do a giveaway with these two books. So if you want to know how to enter to win, stick around to the end of the video and I will let you know how to enter to win one of these two books. If you're interested in checking out more of what The Thinking Company has or looking at links for these two books, I will link that in the description box below. So check that out after this video. Okay, so let's just get into Word Roots and we'll take a look at the beginning book here first. So it says it is for grades three to four. And I think I've mentioned in previous videos that I do not think that this is going to be too easy for most students. My daughter was in grade five when she first did this and it was definitely not too easy. So if you are looking to use Word Roots and your child is not too much older than this, I would suggest you start here unless they have a pretty firm grasp on prefixes, suffixes, and roots already. All right, so let's take a look in here. So there are five levels that should go through and they have flashcards that go with these. I have not used the flashcards myself. So we have a table of contents. This is, you can pull these out. They have serrated edges. Just do be aware that if you do pull these out and you hole punch them, I do find that it will, I don't know if it's in this level or the next level, I will, it does hit the word sometimes. So that doesn't always work for us. So we have an introduction teaching suggestions for the parent, and then here's the lessons. So I can say that my daughter mostly did this on her own. I just went through and I marked it for her, but that was it. I did not work with her on it. She just did these independently. So they always have the prefix or prefixes they're working with, the roots they're working with, and then sometimes they have suffixes. So they just kind of explain what these are, what these mean. So lesson one, so then they have activities, we have some words matching with definitions, talking about how they go together. Activity C, putting words together to make new words. So what is star sailor? You would say, okay, it's an astro not astronaut. Measure of heat, thermometer, thermometer, right? And then activity D. Okay, and then this is lesson two. So I think most lessons are about four pages. So we're filling in the blank with the words that we've used. Lesson three. So some different activities for the lessons, but each lesson is, it's, it looks like this one was three pages. So three to four pages per lesson. I think I just had my daughter do about two pages whenever she did this. All right, so there's a variety of activities and they just introduce different words some roots here. And then here is a review. Every so often they will have a review. So you write the word and the meaning, all the words you've learned. And that was the review. So after 11 lessons, So it looks like over time, the activities become more and more similar. So often the first activity will be finding the definition for the words. The next activity will be picking between two similar words to see if they know the meanings of the words out of two words. And then the third activity looks like they're using the words to fill in the blank again. But then the fourth activity would be to write a sentence. So it kind of builds upon itself, starting from being able to put the word in the right context, to choosing between two of the words that might be similar, to eventually writing your own sentence. 
So that seems to be the pattern here towards the end of this level. So I noticed that it did just build upon itself, starting with simple and getting more and more complicated towards the end here. Another review. So as you can see, these words are not really crazy hard words, but I think they lay a good foundation for future books here. And they were not too easy for my daughter who was in fifth grade when she started. So this is the final review. And then there's the answer key at the end that is helpful when you're trying to mark things quickly. All right, so that is the beginning level for word roots. And here is level one. Now you can see between the two, there is a difference in thickness. I would say this one looks about double that. This is 100 pages, and then this one is 200, yes. So it is double the size. And so my daughter just started level one. She is right now in fifth grade. She's going into sixth grade. And I would say it definitely steps up in a little more challenging, and the layout is a little more compact, as you can see here, compared to the other level. So there's a pre-test, post-test, so you can ask your kids what these words mean and see if they know. I didn't do that, so we just started with the lessons. So there are two lessons and then a review. So this is lesson one here. So once again, we have prefixes, roots, and suffixes. So they give you the meaning. And then using those things, you have to figure out what these words mean and stick them with the correct definition. Then on the next page, they have three words to pick from. You use one of those words in the context to see if you know the context of those words. Then we have defining the word parts. So here they choose from here and they write the definition of each word part. And finally, page four is going to be writing sentences. And this uses that same pattern throughout. So lesson two, using the information here, correct words here. And here is where I said the serrated edges, if you hole punch this, you will lose parts of this. So I would suggest maybe not ripping apart this book like we do, but that's just something I noticed when I was hole punching. So the same format here, that's lesson two. And then after two lessons, they have a review. So we're going through all of the suffixes and prefixes. And then we have all of the words here, deciding what the meaning is, jumbled up letters, using the definition to write the word, and then choosing the correct word to fill in the blank. And then we're on lesson three. And so I'm not gonna flip through this entire book, but it is pretty much the same. Let me flip to the middle here. It does not really change. I don't really think the words get more challenging or difficult. It is the same format throughout. So as you can see at the end here, towards the end, we are still doing the, pretty much the same format here. So let's see, at the very end, let's see if there's a big lesson review. Okay, so it looks like it's just every two lessons is a review. So there's nothing special at the end as far as a review. There are 30 lessons but then you must remember that there is a review every two lessons. So there are 45 lessons then in this book. And then here's the answer key at the end for the parent. So here you go, here's the table of contents. So 30 lessons with a review every two lessons. So 45 total sort of activities in there. And then this one here, you can see that there are 24 lessons with a few review pages in there. So not reviewing as often. So I'm not sure how that would be. Maybe that would be 30, 30 total lessons. So we do two or three pages each time. This one I do two or three pages every time I sign it to her. And yeah, that is what it looks like in the inside of Word Roots. So there you go. That is the inside of these two books. I hope it gave you a good idea of what to expect from this Word Roots series. If you would like to win one of these two books, there are three ways to enter to win. So the first way is to like and subscribe to my videos and in the comments below, tell me which of these two that you would like to win. The second way is to go into my Facebook group. I will put the link below. 
Go in my Facebook group and find the post that talks about this video and comment below which of these two books you would like as well. And the third way is go onto my Instagram. It is Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and comment below the post about this video and let me know which of these two you would like. I will be picking a winner in one week from today. So come back and check those posts if you don't get a notification. Thank you so much for coming today and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.